Shalom and welcome, or in Hebrew, Hebrew aim to our website, Panimul Panim, our Torah blog, where every Shabbat uh, we discuss uh, something relevant from the Torah portion uh, for us. Uh, I also encourage you to join us every Shabbat at 9.35 in the morning at Avatami Synagogue at www.avatami.org. You can find all the details for a lesson that is a little bit more detailed than this 10 minutes video. Um, real briefly, let us jump into the Torah portion today. And today we're in Parashat Balak. And this is really, really a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, Torah portion. There's just so much to talk about. I, I want to focus on chapter 25 of the book of Bamidbar. Uh, I just want to talk just a bit and just to set it up. Uh, the Israelites, Bnei Israel, uh, they, they, they uh, you know, they stop in a place called Shittim. And then we read about the fact that the children of Israel uh, uh, start worshipping uh, God by the name of Baal Peo. You know, uh, Baal is the type of God. Peor was representing the name of a mountain in, this, in the country of Moab. There was a, a mountain called Peor, and this is where the, the Israelites right there uh, basically start to uh, worship the God of Peor. Obviously, we read about 24,000 people who died because of that God. He's, a, he's truly uh, a jealous, jealous God. What can we learn from this? Well, we read about a man named Pinchas in this, uh, in this, uh, in the end of the story portion. Pinchas did something interesting. He said, "And when Pinchas, this is verse seven, by the way, the Pinchas, the son of Eliezer, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it. Saw it. He rose up in the midst of the congregation and took a spear in his hand. There was, uh, uh, if you remember, there was a man in Israel going with the." Uh, uh, Midianite woman, you know, and he took them and he, he threw the, the spear at them and uh, And it's interestingly enough, you know, it stopped the plague. It stopped the plague. An action of one person Stopped the plague and isn't interesting that God did not Classify him as a murderer Yet he, 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 he Blessed him. We're reading the next Shabbat Torah portion how much God has blessed him and so forth so I want to talk a little bit about this. Um, it's interesting that uh, most of the sages in the Talmud really, really um, talk in a very, it, it's not surprising, I suppose, that they talk in a very positive way about uh, Pinchas. But what they, they, they do say, which is very, very interesting, that Pinchas' actions were his own, okay? They were not motivated by any person. They were not motivated by Moses. They were not motivated by, by any person. They were motivated from him. And in essence, he took a, he jumped in a way outside of his authority, if you want to think about it, and done something. And Matter of fact, the Torah, uh, the, 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 the sages went to know for it and they explained that actually Moses was silent, okay? It was Pinchas, the one that, that took this action. And this Torah portion really deal with the actions, and I think there's a great, great application for us as a Messianic believers. What, what do I mean by that? Well, the, the really, there are three types of actions that we can take, okay? Okay, first of all, this first set of actions that we can take are actions that are passively not being taken. Do you realize that when we do not take an action and we're being passive, you know, it is still an action. It is an action. It's a passive action, but it's yet it is an action. In this case, Moses was somewhat of passive, actually. Moshe has, has, has been passive when he saw those people, you know. The second set of actions are actions that are wrong, that are pl plain wrong, and, and that's happening all the time when we take actions that are outside God will or outside the Word of God and so forth. But there is also the third type of actions that we learn about this in this Torah portion, okay? And those third type of actions are actions that exhibit jealousy, 
toward our God. Okay? And those are the type of actions that God has asked the believer to have in his life. The type of actions that show God that as much that he is jealous for us, or well, we are going to be jealous for him. Okay? And, and this, this idea that we must be able to, uh, you know, we're in the midst of a study from Titus right now, Titus chapter 1, and in Titus chapter 1 verse 13 it says that we must have, our testimony must be truthful, okay? In essence, what he's saying here is that the actions, the actions that we are taking have to exhibit this truthfulness and this jealousy toward God. I want you to hear those those verses from Jeremiah or Jeremiah. It says, if you really change your ways, and I want to stress the word really change your ways, and not just change your way, and change your actions, that's from uh, Jeremiah 7, and deal with each, o each other justly, if you do not oppress the alien, the fatherless, and the, or, the widow, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in the place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in the, this place in the light I gave your fathers forever and ever. What a powerful, powerful word from, from the, the prophet Jeremiah. The key here is that we must take an action. Because this verse in Jeremiah said, not whenever you feel like it or if you like to, you can do those things. See, if you really change your way, there is a condition, there is a promise, and, and there is a condition. It's a conditional covenant, okay, with the Lord. Sometimes we think that, you know, just because we call ourselves something or which automatically means something. But God really said that titles do not really affect him all the whole lot. It is our actions, our, our actions that will di di dictate whether or not we have a truthful testimony. In the book of Yohanan, 1 John chapter 3, verse 18, it's something beautiful. It says, Dear children, let us not love with words or tongues, but with actions and in truth, okay? Those actions are truthful actions, okay? And what, what it's saying here is the only way that we can show God really how much we love Him, the, the, the love language in essence, that God understands is our actions, it's through our actions. It's not just praising Him through our lips, but it's, it's having the walk to show it. And I think the greatness of Pinchas here is that he had the walk to show how much he jealous for God. And it's made me stop and believe and think that we do need Messianic synagogues, maybe even starting with Avata Mi, and may it be for the entire Metroplex, that is jealous and truly jealous for God, not just in a lip service, but through having the walk and the action to back the truthfulness of our testimony. With that, I would like to wish you a Shabbat Shalom, and may, may this, this awesome action of Pinchas will speak to all of us. Have a Shavuot of Shalom.